So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a basic responsive navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. So first things first, we will add the HTML document. So we are going to add our HTML here. I'll name it responsive. So responsive, responsive navbar. And inside of the body here, we will be able to add our navigation. But uh, always you'll have header. So I'm going to add that. So header, this will say H1, welcome to my website. I'm not going to uh, style the header now. So welcome to my web. Okay, so now let's go under that header and begin with adding the nav. So we are going to type in nav. So let's assign nav just like that. So we have our navigation bar ready. Now we will add a class name. So we'll add uh, actually a div there for the logo. So I'm going to say div class logo. All right. And we have that there. I'm going to insert this image here. So I'm going to say image source logo. And uh, this is the source for my logo. I'm going to style it in a second. But it's okay. Uh, I know it's so huge now on the browser, but we'll style it. So now we will go below that div, and uh, below that div we will make an unordered list. So I'm going to type in ul, and inside of that unordered list we are going to add some list items. So li, all right. So and then inside of this li you are going to have an a tag. So href, I'm going to say, for example, index.html. So this will be the first one. So index.html. So this will take me to index.html. And I'm going to say home, all right? So right here, you see it says uh, home like that. Now I'm going to copy this list item and paste it five more times, or it depends on how many uh, pages you have. So uh, let's say that this is a five page website. So we are going to paste it four more times. So we have total of five now. Now this is going to be uh, music. So I'm going to change this one to music. And this one will be album. And this one is going to be photography. And this one is going to be art. So now you will have to basically change the links uh, as well. So you see we have changed the length names here. But we'll have to change the length based on our HTML pages. Let's say that we have a page called music.html. And this one, let's say it's album.html and so on. All right. So we are going to name these correctly. So photo.html and art.html. Okay, cool. So we have that. We have taken care of HTML now. It's time to add our CSS. So we are going to use CSS here. I'm not going to link any external style sheets. Just to keep it simple, I'm going to say style. All right. And inside of the style, I'm going to add some CSS. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the body. So I'm going to say body and margin zero. So for example, body, I'm going to say margin colon zero and padding zero. All right. So this will basically reset it for us. And then I'm going to change the font family of my whole page to Arial. So this is optional. All right. And now we are going to select the nav. So we are going to type in nav and we are going to open two curly braces. So inside of that, we are going to say a uh, background color. I'm going to uh, say background color. Let's say hashtag 333 to add this nice color there. And uh, we have that done. So you can choose whatever color you want. Uh, I'm going to change the color to white. So color 
white. So you see how uh, it will change. Uh, this one will not work actually, but it's okay. You see the dots are now uh, white there. It's okay. I'm not going to add that color there because it will basically change the color of the dot. So that's not what I want. I want to change the color of the text. Uh, but I'll do it in a second, so let's not worry about it. We are going to say, for example, the display flex to make it flex, all right? And uh, right here, uh, we, we, we can't see it uh, right now because this logo is so huge. So uh, let me just resize that logo. So you see, I have this class. So I have this uh, div with the class logo. So let me just type in dot logo image, all right? And let me change it to it to 100 pixels by 100 pixels height. Okay, so I have a nice logo there. Let's not worry about it. Uh, I know it's a bit huge, but it's okay. And you see right here, we have our uh, links. Now I'll, I'll go back inside of nav and uh, just add this property, which is called justify content. I'm going to say center. Everything will be centered, right? And uh, let's add align items as well. So align items center. So we have uh, centered everything. So now vertically and horizontally. So it's perfectly centered now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these uh, dots right here by our links. So the easiest way to do it is to select the unordered list. So type in UL and I can say list dash style type. I can say none. You'll notice that those dots will go away. And uh, outside of it, now we are going to select the list items. So we are going to say li, all right, and open two curly braces. Now we are going to say uh, margin, colon, zero pixels, and 10 pixels. So this means that from the top, set the margin to zero, and to the right, add 10 pixels to the right of it. Now let's get rid of this uh, line under our links. So I'm going to select that first. So I'm going to type in uh, A basically. So if I type in A, it's going to select all of my links on my web page. So I'm going to basically type in nav U L L I A. So now uh, it's a better practice and I'm going to add it to all of these. So nav U L L I. All right. So I'll make sure that you use that to be more specific. So nav U L just like that. All right, so uh, nav ULLIA and let's say text dash decoration. I'm gonna set it to none. You'll notice that it will get rid of that uh, line under it. So let me change the color to white. So you see, we have added that white color there. Let's make it responsive. We can make it responsive now. Before I do that, I'm going to add some font weight here. So font weight, I'm going to say bold. To make it a little bit bolder. All right, so this is what I have so far. You see, it's uh, just a basic navigation bar. And when I uh, make it smaller, it's not responsive yet. So let's, let make it, let's make it a little bit responsive. And we are going to say, uh, we are going to use a property called add media. So I can say, for example, add media only screen and so on. So uh, let's just add that. So we are going to say add media screen and all right. So add media screen and I can say, for example, max dash width colon. Let's say about uh, 768 pixels. All right, so this means that for anything that is less than 768 pixels, apply this style inside of 
these two color braces. So anything that you put here will override these ones when you view it on a viewport or a browser that is less than 768 pixels. So now uh, I'm going to select the nav again. So I'm going to type in nav inside of it. So nav. And inside of the nav, I'm going to say, for example, uh, let's change the flex direction to a column. All right. So you see now what, what comes. You see now on a huge screen, it's going to look like this. But then on a smaller screen, it's going to look like this more. All right. So you see our logo comes on top of our links. So this is, you know, it's a bit more responsive because you see uh, without this, I mean, if I just comment this one out, you see, if I make it smaller, uh, it's not responsive. So it's not a good practice. So let's undo that. And now you see it's more responsive now. Now let's say that you want to display these links next to each other. So you can go to the li right here and i can say display inline block so you see now we have a nice navigation bar on here screen is going to look like this but when i shrink it you'll notice that it will become like that but you see when i reach this let's see that i want to change the display of this nav li to Flex. So I can do that. So I can copy this whole thing and I can tape it inside of my media screen. All right. So you see, this is my uh, media role. So this is my media role here. I can go to the next line and paste it here. So I can change the display to flex. So you see, on a small screen, it's going to look like this, but on a huge screen, it's going to look like this. All right. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you have a basic understanding of how to make a responsive navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.